Hi, it's Dr. Natasha Welch, nurse practitioner with the Abraza brand. And I love to bring just tips, motivational, I call it tips, more for Motivational Monday for Abraza Skin Institute. Listen, I am the owner and founder of Abraza Skin Studio Med Spa, as well as Abraza Skin Care Medical Grade Skin Care Products. Let's get back to Motivational Monday. Here is a big thing that I see for those who typically register for coursework with me. Um, I find that a lot of people love to register for Botox and filler training and they feel like that's all I need, Botox and filler training. Okay, but what about the skin that you are injecting? I find that a lot of, especially nurse nurse professionals who want to transition into medical aesthetics they feel that that's all i need botox and fillers and as much as i mean i'm a businesswoman right we sell coursework and as much as i want to sell the coursework i do however i feel like you are missing it if you don't know skin how can you do botox and fillers and you miss holding and retaining the client I get so many clients because people treated them with just Botox and fillers, but they did not treat them with awesome skincare. But how can you treat them with awesome skincare if you don't know skincare? You know, so we have this class called the All About Skin class. And I think it's just like the best class if you are even considering coming into medical aesthetics. However, we get more enrollment for Botox and filler training. Like, listen, I'm not mad at it, but I have to say this because I'm always like, you're missing it. And I think it's because people see so many ads and they see so much hype on social media with Botox and fillers. Botox and fillers is like sticking a Band-Aid on a dam that has a crack in it. I mean, it's cute. It's going to hold it together. But you're not holding it together unless you know skin and how to treat skin. Okay, so wherever you're getting your training is fine, but make sure you understand skin fundamentals. Make sure you understand what you're sending that client home. It's like when I worked, I worked in cardiology for 20 years. I treated high blood pressure and I treated um, heart disease. And when patients were discharged, we gave them prescriptions. So the same thing is in skin health. If you are not sending them home with something to maintain and prevent, what are we really doing as clinicians out here? So I invite you to go to our website, take a look at the All About Skin class because it really introduces, especially this the healthcare professional that wants to transition into skincare. And it also assists those who are licensed esthetician or cosmetologists that really want to know a more clinical breakdown of what we do and why we do it. Definitely consider that then you do your Botox and filler. Then you do your microneedling. It's the order to doing things. Trust me, okay? Because if the client comes to you and that's all you could give them and you can't speak on anything else, two things. One, you're dependent on another skin professional who can. Two, you risk losing your client. So definitely consider it or you are definitely missing the whole point. So please visit www.abrazaskininstitute.com. Take a look at our coursework. Definitely follow us on social media at on IG and, in, and TikTok, I have to thank, and Facebook at Abraza Skincare. Also, Abraza Skin Studio and Abraza Skin Institute. All of those are website names as well. If you love the information I'm giving you, please take the time to like it and don't forget to share and definitely follow us for more Motivational Mondays. This is Nat Dr. Natasha Welch, nurse practitioner, signing off. 